Hello, everyone. How are you today? Um, so what we're going to discuss is uh, local directories. And what a directory is, just to give you a quick um, idea, is like Yelp or City Search. And, and so these are directories that uh, Google trusts those um, website, the information on those websites, like your name, address, and phone number, and kind of uses that information for search. And so what um, we found is that businesses that don't have a proper way to manage all of these directories, which could be hundreds of them, um, currently there's 71 of the top directories, but if you're in, let's say, let's say property management, there's an additional 68 directories that target specific towards property management. And so if, if you don't have a proper way to manage these directories, there's a few things that can happen. For example, what we're finding out is in the last 12 months, 71% of consumers have had a negative experience because that directory had incorrect business information found online as far as an incorrect address or an incorrect phone number. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> that's, that's huge. So yeah, I mean, that's really good information, Crystal. I mean, and, and that's, I mean, <clears throat> the other problem is, is and, and when, we haven't really talked about it before, but, you know, just managing all of those different directories can be overwhelming for businesses. You know, I mean, it's just, it's a lot of different directories. Like you said, there's 71 directories that we've identified as being the top directories, obviously Google being one, Bing, Yahoo, et cetera. And there's, there's, ind there's industry specific directories that would pertain to attorneys or property management companies, et cetera. And if you're not updating that information and making sure that, you're not ha that you don't have duplicates out there for your business, because you can get duplicates very, very easily. Even if you're managing those directories, if you're not paying attention to whether or not info search and some of these different large databases that supply the, the name, address, and phone number information, et cetera, for a business, the, you will get a duplicate and that will confuse the consumer. And what that leads to confusion leads to calling the next business. And so this can, you know, the, the data I think is really important, Crystal, to, to go over. I mean, if you want to show your screen and show this, <clears throat> some of the data. Yeah. I mean, Definitely. that's just... Yes. So There's important. quite a few points in here. You know, another one that sticks out here is upon finding an inaccurate listing, consumers are more likely to blame the local business than the actual directory. Um, and so you've really got to take that responsibility and, and handle your information and manage that stuff on the directories. Yeah. In other words, the business is going to, is going to, is going to, it's your responsibility as the business owner and the business. Um, and this applies to franchises. I mean, we deal with franchises all the time and they have so many locations. It's tough to keep track of, you know, what information goes to which, you know, basically, I mean, if you've got 73 different franchises and you've got 73 different directories for each franchise, I mean, you do the math on that. That's a mm -hmm. lot, you know, and if you can't, if you can't manage everything in one place, in other words, make a change in one local place and then have that change go to all 73 directories, then you're going to spend half of your time just managing these different the information on these different directories. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that can be so time consuming. And the fact that there's misinformation out there can cause confusion, not only to the customer, but also to Google and the search engines, which actually gives you worse rankings as well. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a double whammy there. So yeah. Yeah. Ahead. And you know, we've had a situation to where an individual's prospect prospect had looked up their information, this, I don't know, city pages, something that they didn't even think of had pulled up the old address. So that person went to the old address and it caused some friction between the client, you know, and the business. And so I can really see how a business can get blamed if that information isn't updated. Well, and look at, I mean, there's another, exactly. I mean, if the information is not updated, you, you could just, you could cause a ton of frustration. And to that yeah. point, you can see that that point number two from the bottom there, 40% would give up looking for a local business that they couldn't mm -hmm. find because the address was wrong online. That's exactly what you're talking about. Um, yeah. 68% of consumers would stop using a local business if they found their incorrect information in online directories. 68, almost 70% of 
if they see misinformation, there you go. 70% yeah. of people, if they go, let's just break that down. If they go to Google and they see that you've got one, you know, your phone number's wrong or, or different from what they see on Yelp, okay? Or in other words, let's say they go to two, and, and typically you'll, you'll find this. I mean, look, businesses, that what they're doing, 60% of people, when they get a referral to go to your business, they type in your, we've said this many times, your name, mm -hmm. the city, and the word reviews. And mm -hmm. what will come up there is Google, Yahoo, Bing, Yelp. It's all the different directories. And so they've got at their fingertips every single directory there. And the, your address is front and center. Your name address, we call it the NAP. The name address and phone number is right there on that page. <clears throat> and what that's saying, that study is saying, is, is if that information is different, if there's, if there's different information on, okay, so there's, there's ours. Look at on the right. You can see there's our address, our name, address, and phone number. It's very, very easy for anybody to click on Glassdoor or click on Yelp or click on Angie's List and see mm -hmm. if the information is different. And if it is, 70% of people are going to just, they're going to they're gonna kill it right there. They're going to they're gonna literally go um, to another business. And that's, that's really, really important. So um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> th this is, this is why it's really important. Yeah. If you want to go back to that, the, uh, the citations, uh, report, I think that's yeah. so important. Um, 80% of customers lose trust in local business. If they see incorrect, inconsistent contact details or business names online, 93% of customers say that they are frustrated by incorrect information in online directories. I mean, that is, those are huge numbers. I mean, in the last 12 months, 71% of consumers had a negative experience because of incorrect local business information found online. In the last year, 22% of consumers visited the wrong location for a business because the address was, if you think this doesn't happen a lot, 22% mm -hmm. of people, that's huge. Yeah. Uh, upon finding an inca inaccurate listing, consumers are likely to blame. Yeah, we already talked about that. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. awesome. Really, I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the pain. That's the, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Um, the solution is, is to, is to manage these directories. And there's, and if you have any questions about this, just type yeah. in, you know, um, you know, how, you know, help me with my local directories or, or, you know, I have questions about local directories or something to that effect. And we will message you back and, um, and we'll start a conversation with you and, and um, answer your questions. I mean, it's just that simple. If you have any questions, we, we really like having one-on-one, -on -one, you know, uh, conversations with people. We'll get back to you within 15 with, I mean, immediately if, if it's within 15 minutes after this, um, video, um, is, is done. And then for sure within 24 hours, we'll get back to you with an audio or a video message. So it's like, we're talking to you one-on-one, -on -one, you know? And, um, yeah. What else do you think, Crystal? Um, <clears throat> I'm typing this in so I don't forget. Um, another thing that, you know, a lot of individuals kind of think, well, why don't they just go to my website? And so um, businesses, you know, update their website and, and get real frustrated because it's, it's almost as if they assume the, the prospect journey is just going to go straight to your website. So, yes, it's important to have your website information correct. But please don't deny these directories, which communicate with Google search engines, um, Yahoo and Bing, um, to give um, the correct information if a service or a keyword or even your name is typed in. Yep. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> yeah. Even at, yeah, you're saying even on your website, you're saying they've mm -hmm. got to manage their... Even on on your website, you've definitely got to manage that information as well, because um, I'll give an example. I went to this website the other day and mm -hmm. at the top, the name and address um, was different from the contact us page. So it caused confusion, which there you go, you know, 93% of consumers say they're frustrated by incorrect information. So it caused confusion and it's, it's almost like, do I really want to call both of these phone numbers or do I really want to do another search to find out how I get in contact with this company? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, exactly. I mean, people are going to look at that and it's going to take more time. And they're like, well, I mean, I'm, you know, I don't have time to, you know, yeah. 
to do that. So. I just want a phone number. Yeah. <laughs> I just want a phone number. I don't want to look for all this information. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. So I think if, you know, if you, if you, like Crystal said, I mean, and, and obviously, you know, make sure that your name, address, and phone number on your website, your NAP is the same as what's everywhere else. I mean, that's, that's your foundation. I mean, that's, that's critical. And the other really critical thing is, is to make sure, and you can make sure that that happens with the system that we use, actually, whenever we change the information on what we, on what we call the knowledge manager, it's a one, one place, it's a one-stop shop page that we, that we update name, address, and phone number for all 71 of the directories that we set are the top directories out there. And we actually put a little piece of code on your website so that when that information is changed on that main page, it actually uses schema markup and it actually changes the name, address, and phone number as well on your website. So it changes everywhere that your name, address, and phone number is. So it's, it's exactly to the letter matching. And that's important. You want, I mean, everything to be matching exactly, you know, and that's, that's, that's really, really important. So anyway, yeah. I think that was a good, good I, topic. I think so too. And so like Ryan said, if you have any questions for us about your directories or any other questions in regards to some of the other live videos that we've done, send us a message m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. I also have that link in the comments below so you can click on that and then um just just say in the comments um because you know ryan you were explaining the other day how how facebook will recognize when you type in in the comments something other than yes or no which mm -hmm. is hey uh, i need i need help i want to know more about this information so um i have that phrase for you to type in as well <laughs> uh -huh. and so Monday through Friday, we're live sharing successful strategies on uh, with you on how to become the go-to business in, in your niche. So this week is online reputation. Next week is Google My Business. Um, and, and we might mix it in with a little bit of some CRM because I noticed we have some questions coming in from, from that aspect. And then um, the week after that will be um, online reputation. So create a great rest of your day, everyone. All right. Thank you.